Hi, my name is Lauren Foster. I'm the Youth Service Center Coordinator here at West Harden Middle School. Um, and today we are hosting a reality store for our eighth grade students here. Um, reality store is a simulated money management experience, um, very similar to like the board game life. So before today, the students chose based on their career pathway um, that they'll be doing in high school when they get to Central or if they're going to a different school. Um, they get a monthly income for how, what their career pathway is and then they get to spend that monthly income. Um, so some things are required like taxes, um, they have to go to the bank first, and then there's some things that are optional. So entertainment, um, a cell phone bill, cable, some students will have to pay student loans, um, they have choices to make donations and contributions, uh, groceries, things like that. And then at the end, they'll either come out positive, which means they have spent, like they haven't spent more money than they have, or they'll come out negatives, which means they've spent more money than they actually have in their account. Um, so it's a good learning lesson about money management for them. My name is Aaron Pennington. I'm a real estate broker for Pennington Properties, and today I'm representing the housing. All right, so you got two kids. Two kids can share a room, and you've got okay money, but you know you may want to consider your utilities and everything else that you got going on. So this is an option, and this is an option. You know, 700 here, 894 here. You may have a little more utilities. Yeah, much. You good? Do yeah, this we'll one? do this one. Okay, so how say? 894. Sorry. <clears throat> you yeah. have yeah, $3,044 before you go to utilities, okay? Okay. <clears throat> All right, have you thought about it? Yeah. Okay, you're going to rent. And because you have two, you have a child, period, you have two, you have to have at least a two bedroom. Okay, so that's your option. Are you good with that? Sometimes the no kids is easier. Okay. 
My name is Chrissy O'Donnelly. I'm representing Hardin County Water District 2 today at the Reality Store at West Hardin Middle School. I'm Lisa French. Um, I have a granddaughter here in the eighth grade, and I'm working at the car, life, and house insurance booth, hoping that the students will learn something about how to choose insurance, how to budget it, so that they don't run out of money at the end of the month. So that's why I'm here. I mean, I don't really read it, but I'm kind of mad that I didn't get everywhere else was. I spent six hundred and fifty dollars on security. Oh, so yeah. I probably should have got that last. Well. What, uh, the main thing that you've done, though, it looks like you've done a good job because you've gotten, you know, your, your other insurances, you've got your clothing. Now, entertainment, that's one of the last things you should have to do. But you had to have a phone, right? Yeah. Okay, you have to have insurance. I just went for, like, that side of the... Yeah. Well, the thing about it is, is always remember when you get a car, you need to have full coverage on your car. Because in Kentucky, there's something called no-fault insurance, so if you have a wreck, you could fix their car, but you couldn't fix yours. Okay. So you need to make sure you have full coverage, okay? Okay, okay there you go, Nikita. You're welcome. Hi there, what have you got? You have a Volt, and you have, you're running a one-bedroom apartment, right? Okay, what's your, oh, you're an optometrist, so you make pretty good money. Do you know how much money they make? 69. 45 18 a month. That's a lot of money. So let's get you some insurance for your car. Okay. And you're gonna need home you're gonna need renter's insurance. Renter's insurance is much cheaper than homeowners. You know why? Why is that? Because you don't own the house. Exactly. Because you don't own the house. <clears throat> now what renter's insurance will pay for is the stuff that's in your apartment if you lose it, okay? All right, so let's go. A volt is going to cost you $55 a month. So we'll take that off. And your rental apartment is going to be $12 a month. So I'm going to take that all off for you. Let's see what you've got left over. All right, so, 51, and we're going to take off your rental insurance. You're still doing really well, because you've gotten a lot of stuff, haven't you? Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Hi, I'm Jocelyn Kemp, the 4-H agent for Hardin County Extension, and here I'm running the supplemental income booth, so the kids will come to me if they want to get um, that side hustle going to earn some extra money if they need it. to but this is going to be um, supplemental jobs and income since you have no kids you don't have to worry about the weekends if you wanted to work the weekends so do any of those stand out to you that you would want to do waitress waitress okay and as of right now you you look to be pretty good so you don't have to do it so it's up to you
child at one year old okay so 25 what kind of uh, household do we have here what what kind of household do we have are you a single parent oh to sure. adult? I can add TV to it so that's an extra basic TV 50 bucks Enjoy your basic plan. Just give me everything. <laughs> Just give you everything. Yeah. Are you going to have enough money? Yeah. Okay. Basic TV. What's the, what's the, is or there basic, premium? Or basic. You want premium everything. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Can't be that bad. Okay. Premium cable and internet. And then the biggest cell phone package. Yeah. The largest one? Do you know if you have to go to every single one of these places? Well, I think we're running out of time, so after you get done here, then go to evaluations, okay? Alright, so. Cell phone package is 80. Internet, 100. She and your Louis Vuitton. So, which one would you like to do? Designer. Designer? All right, so what's your salary, your monthly salary? 10213 All right. And how many kids do you have? Zero. Zero kids? All right, so just for the adult, for the specialty store, it's going to be $350. Mm. Oh. Oh. So $350, and you have the specialty store. So which one were you wanting to shop so at? So this is going to be your cheapest option, and this is going to be the most expensive. So this is going to be the designer, yeah. and this is going to be like your Goodwill. And I everything Gucci? Gucci? All right. I got to drip my two and four year old out. Oh yeah. Oh, you got a two and four year old? They're going to be in the best styles. All right. So you're, wow, you got 63000 as your monthly salary. What do, what's your job? Uh, uh, material engineer. Oh, OK. All right. So you wanted to go to Gucci, and you've got two kids, so that's going to be five hundred and eighty dollars. Wow. Hi, I'm Jessica Meredith. Hi, I'm Christy Portman. And we work in HR at Abound Credit Union, so we're here at West Harden today for the student loan booth. Thank you. Now you guys talking about student yeah, loans. Yeah, talking about student loans. Mm. That sounds like. What are you going for? I don't know. I what is your degree? A 
A technical engineer. Technical engineer. Okay. I mean, yeah. electrical. Oh, electrical. Electrical. Yeah. What did you put on there? Student. There we go. You went for a technical degree. Yeah. So fifty dollars. Yeah. So we have about 19 to 20 booths um, and then there's one to two people from each organization. Um, so we've got people from West Banco, uh, the Sicilian Bank, Pennington Properties is here. Um, we have some medical and dental insurance representatives. So. Um, can you talk again like what, what lesson ultimately do you want to impart on the students so for us, it's really about money management. Like with students, sometimes they're like, I'm gonna have the most expensive car and yeah. <laughs> the most expensive clothing and I wanna have you know, cable and a phone bill and all this stuff. So yeah. it helps them see kind of like the breakdown of, of what things are gonna cost. Um, Cause we know when we get in the real world, for most people, you're gonna have to make decisions on, you know, what's a need and what's something that I want that might have to wait. Um, so it's really just, trying to show them what the prices of things are in, in reality, because um, a lot of the prices that they're seeing today are very like comparable to what they're gonna be when they go to like an actual business. So just money management, um, learning how to, and then also trying to keep them away from like credit card debt and stuff like that, like yeah. learning how to manage the income that they have. Um, is it just a specific grade or is it a whole school that comes in? So we're doing all the eighth graders this eighth year. Graders. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. How many students is that? It's around 200, a little less than 200 is what we have going through today. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So how many kids do you have? One. Okay. 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 So this is your base, and then this is what you will get. So one. And so do you know what taxes are used for? Do you know what taxes are used for? Uh, uh, and then no. it's going to go to the government to help like local pros and other public Yes, there you go. So there's that. Go ahead and get in line and get your bank account. Hi. Okay, that's not Hi. Hi. Hey, I can help somebody. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay, you would like to be a chef? Okay, so you also want to be a chef. Very cool. Okay, they have and how many children do you have? One. Culinary program at ECTC. So, we got two children here. Perfect. That means you're going to have 28% taken out in taxes. So, that's going to bring your balance down. You have 30% taken out. It's down to here. Make sure you get money. Go get your bank account. Okay, you like you architecture. I'm doing well. Let's see what you got here. Okay. So, you so is architect on here? Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Very, very cool. Okay. What kind of instruments do you play? Guitar? Uh, you have two kids. I have two guitars. I don't know how to play either one. Years. But there's oh. always the hope that one time I'll get it. Okay. Let's so. All right, go to the bank next. Music education. Oh, yeah. I can help solve it. Savings accounts. Definitely make sure that you're trying to put a little bit of money away into a savings account. Even if it's five dollars, and then they all add up. And you can have that out for an emergency. Yes, right out of your checking account. Yeah. And also no. banks. All right. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, absolutely. They're there for everybody. Are you okay? Hi. Hi how are you? All right. So welcome to the bank. So we're going to open you up a checking and a savings account today. It's ten dollars to open. You are checking account on that account. All right. And so we're going to let you have access. So when you start your job, right. most companies have direct the deposit. Your mail. And so that'll automatically start electronic transfer into your account with your funds at each paycheck. And you'll be able to access your account using a debit card or maybe a checkbook. So it's really important that you keep track of your transactions so you know what you're spending so that you don't overdraw your account. And then we also encourage you to put at least like $5 after each paycheck into your savings account to start building up that emergency fund. All right, so they're going to take that out and they'll give you that balance if you'd like a sucker hat one. I'm Deanna, and we are from West Point Bank, and I'm currently a loan operations specialist. Hey, I'm Amy from West Point Bank, and I'm currently a branch processor. And we are currently working the evaluation tables. So when everyone gets everything tallied up, they come to us, and we see if they're in the positive or the negative. I'm Jessica Markham. I'm representing the medical and dental um, insurance for the students. I'm Tammy Lack, I'm a parent volunteer, and we are discussing the entertainment today. They can either do a night out with fast food one time a month, or 
a couple times with a week vacation or a deluxe package with four nights out to eat and then an airplane vacation for a week, two weeks. So, thank you. Hi, I'm Rachel Watkins with United Way of Central Kentucky. We're here to help students make decisions on whether they want to donate, volunteer, or advocate. They have the choice to donate to a variety of uh, nonprofits and charities within their community, and you know they get a little surprised when they see what their options are and that they don't have to give, but so many, most of them do, and it's really good to see. And this is Melissa with Feeding America Kentucky's Heartland. Hello, I'm Melissa Neary with Feeding America Kentucky's Heartland, and we're doing what she just said, trying to just help the kids realize early on that there are ways that they can help others in their community. Good morning, my name is Kimberly Douglas and I'm with West Bank Old Bank. I'm here today working uh, the reality store for the Hardin County Schools and I'm working the chance booth where the students can come up and they take it, actually they draw to see what things can happen to them in life and how it affects their finances. Uh, we want to say thank you to all our community volunteers and agencies that came out to help our kids with the Reality Store. Um, and thank you for everyone who watched this segment on Reality Store as well. Um, if you're wanting to see how it works at other schools, we'll be doing Reality Stores at um, East Harden Middle School, JTA, um, and then North Middle at, in the upcoming weeks. So thank you for watching.